Question number 10. Figure 32E1 shows a conductor of length L having a circular cross section. The radius of cross section varies linearly from A to B. The resistivity of the material is zero. Assuming that B minus K is less than less than L, find the resistance of the conductor. Here, this is conductor. At this side, the radius is A. At this side, radius is B. Total length is L. For simplicity, figure is redrawn. This portion A N equal to A, and this portion will also be equal to A. Since B P equal to small b, then remaining portion, this portion will be b minus a, which is shown here. And uh, we assume that from here to here, this portion is equal to small r. So if we cut this portion, then remaining portion will be small r minus a, which is shown here. Suppose this angle is theta. Now, here, if we apply tan theta, so tan theta will be perpendicular upon base. And this length is L. Now, perpendicular is R minus A and base up to here, let's assume it as X. From here to here, this is X. So, we can say tan theta equal to R minus A upon X, which gives R equal to, this A will set to right side it will become a plus x triad theta. Now, we have considered this portion. So, area of this portion will be considered while finding the resistance, resistance of this portion. So, we know that r equal to rho l upon a. So, suppose the resistance of this portion is dr. So, dr equal to rho times length this portion is considered as dx divided by area so radius is small r so it would be pi into small r square and small r is a plus x tan theta so a plus x tan theta whole square also if we find tan theta from here n and suppose this point this if we consider this triangle from here to here perpendicular and this this portion as base. So tan theta will be equal to this portion is B minus A and divided by L because this portion is L. So in place of tan theta, we can write B minus A upon L. So dr will be equal to rho dx divided by pi times a plus x times b minus a divided by l whole square. Now, here limit is x equal to 0 and here limit would be x equal to l. So, total resistance will be found by integrating it from limits 0 to l length of conductor rho dx divided by pi times a plus x b minus a upon l whole square. Now, in order to integrate it, we can make certain assumptions. So, this will become let uh, we write a plus x times b minus a upon l equal to t. To be differentiated, so this will become b minus a upon l dx equal to dt. Our concern is to get dx. So dx equal to l upon b minus a times dt. We can also change the limits. When x equal to 0, when x equal to 0, then t will be equal to a, because we put 0 here, then a will be left. When x equal to l, so here, 
if x equal to l then here l will cancel out then a plus b minus a so t will give so our integration becomes r equals limits a to b and so rho and in place of dt l upon b minus a times dt upon phi times t square this is constant so we can write it before integration b minus a times phi times integration of t power minus 2 dt will be minus 1 upon t. So this could become minus 1 upon t limits a to b. Now further we simplify we put the limits. So we can take out minus sign or we can change the limits to remove minus sign. So two possibilities are there. So we can write it pi p minus a and we change the limits. One upon t and then b to a. Then negative sign will disappear. Now further we simplify well on pi b minus a one upon a minus one upon a. We can see here for rho l upon pi b minus a times b minus a upon a b. So b minus a b minus a will cancel out, and finally we will get r equal to rho l divided by pi a b, which is required resistance. Thank you for watching.